Hey there, my name is Pai Force, and um, I'm also known by the moniker The Price Whisper. The reasons is, is very simple, to be honest. Um, the, um, first of all, pricing is my business. Um, I've become um, an, an expert in pricing, probably one of the world's leaders when it comes to um, how pricing can drive um, growth and business results um, of a company. And I got this weird Swedish name that nobody in, in the English speaking world can um, pronounce uh, or uh, certainly not spell to if you ever want to find me. So um, so I, uh, I I was called the price whisper so many times that uh, that I eventually decided to simply adopt the moniker. And, and, and here I am, you know, now um, I also have a, a, a new book uh, out there called also the price whisper. Uh, but the subtitle is actually almost more important than, than the title. And, and the subtitle is A Holistic View on uh, Pricing Power. And um, <clears throat> that's really uh, one of the topics I want to talk about today. Um, the, 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 the importance of, of taking that holistic view. And, and really, that's one of the reasons that you want to engage a pricing consultant like myself, because it's, it's very different very difficult for it for a for a company um to do that without some kind of outside help and um, and so forth so so what what does that mean then well uh, first off in in the <clears throat> you know in order to price right you need to set your prices to match what your 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 customers are willing to pay now, these are customers that could be B2B customers or they're customers that could be to c customers, but um, they all have a, a certain willingness to pay. And I mean, <laughs> just think about yourself. Um, you have a certain willingness to pay for whatever you buy, right? And, um, and different, um, different buyers, and, and with buyers here, I, I include both um, B2C buyers and, and, and B2B buyers um, have, have differences in, in, in their willingness to pay. And um, if you take that holistic view to pricing, um, you will realize that there are different, different um, customer profiles or customer categories, or some people call them personas or Recently, um, people started to call these uh, these folks avatars. Um, it doesn't matter what you call them. They're 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 groups of people that are buying for similar reasons, um, are looking for similar pe features and functions, and have a similar um, willingness to pay. Right now. That's kind of obvious. I think we, we can all understand that. What 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 many companies fail to understand is that, yeah, they, they go to market with some some a certain value proposition, a certain positioning, um, certain marketing, and so forth, and and um, that will appeal to a certain portion of their marketplace, right? Um, the the um, just think about it in your company. Right, uh, <clears throat> in your company, um, you 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 do the same thing. You have a certain positioning, you have a certain uh, marketing, and certain messages, and your product or service have certain features, functions, and benefits. Um, I hope uh, they're not identical to to your competition, because then 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 you have commoditized yourself, and and that's not the way to get pricing power. Pricing power, by the way, was uh, is a term that it was coined by Warren Buffett about maybe fifteen years ago, roughly twelve years ago, um, in 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 an in an interview he did with some kind of government agency. He said that uh, the the most important criterion to um, uh, for him to invest in a, in a company is whether they have pricing power or not, and and then he continued to to say. Uh, and pricing power is the ability to increase prices without losing sales volume. And um, if you're in the commodity business, you do not have pricing power uh, because then pricing is the most important decision criterion among your customers. So 
Um, so that's not a it's not a good place to be um, because the lowest price will win. Um, instead, you want to differentiate yourself uh, in ways that are meaningful to to your your marketplace. Now, that sort of segue into um, customer segmentation here, because like I said, um, every company goes to market with a certain positioning, a certain message, with certain feature functions, etc. of their of their um, of of their um, uh, of of their product or, or service, um, and of course with a certain sales strategy that can be uh, direct to you know direct to buyers, <clears throat> direct to buyers whether that buyer is a consumer or or, or a business, or it could be through um, resellers, um, it could be through partners in different ways. But there is a the, you know, if you're in business, you, you do have strategies for all of this. Now, the one thing that is important and that many, many times companies forget is that there may be other customer segments out there. Um, other customer segments that would allow you to, to set more profitable prices if you only knew um, what, what those customer segments are, right? And and and, um, and 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 that may mean that you you have to, <clears throat> in order to ad address those other customer segments that that would support higher, more profitable prices, you may have to change how you position your company. You may have to change the the, the features and functions that you use in your prom promotion and the benefits, of course. Um, you may have to change the the way you go to market, whether you do through channels or partners or direct. Um, and, and, and obviously you, you, you need to change your pricing, right? Um, and companies typically don't do this. Um, they think that pricing is, is a number and they, they, they set the price and uh, they set it and forget it, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> and, and that means that they're leaving money on the table. It, I mean, it could be that you don't have to exchange your, your current customer focus for a different one, but maybe you can by reposition yourself by, uh, by using other features and functions in, in, in your marketing and, and your sales. Um, you can add segments that uh, in, in the past wouldn't be um, really attractive to you, right? And um, and what that means is that um, you you need to take that holistic view on on pricing. Um, understand that everything you do in your company um, affects how how you price, right? And 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 how you um, um, how you um, how you can excel and grow in your business. And it's not pricing doesn't live in a vacuum at all which many, many companies believe, right? And, uh, you know, I, um, I, uh, you know, I, many, obviously we've, we've done so many projects in this space and we have so much experience um, and setting prices from, uh, from willingness to pay researching uh, and not only prices, but <clears throat> recommend our, our clients to different customer profiles and so forth. But, um, one company, they, they're, they're a fairly large company, maybe a quarter of a billion roughly. And um, they tried to increase prices. They sell directly to consumers. Um, they tried to increase prices a few years ago and it backfired badly, right? And, and, um, and so, so the new CEO came to us and and, and he said, well, we need to increase prices because we need to become more profitable. But because we did it a few years back, um, it backfired and, and we don't have the guts to do it again, right? We need help to understand how we can increase our prices. Well, lo and behold, we found um, in, 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 in the willingness to pay research that we did and consequent analysis was that <clears throat> the company is is active in about um, I would say a dozen maybe twenty states um, 
mostly sort of western states and and the southern states and um we found that in 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 roughly half of those states they could increase prices but um, in all of the states they could increase prices if they change how they position the company you know and um the the um <laughs> the 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 uh, you know i got a note from from the ceo here uh, a couple of weeks ago and what he said was that the price increase just worked wonders they didn't see a an in, a, a decrease in sales volume in fact they saw a slight increase in sales volume and um he said that the the first quarter this year was the best quarter in the company's history right and 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 that price increases um had had added some 20 25 percent revenue to the company so uh, not insignificant at all right and and it, it was about using the data of, of willingness to pay research to be able to set different prices in different states and in different regions within those states even um, because um, different um, potential buyers had different um, willingness to pay so they could set prices on on a local level and and that was um, that was uh, the key to success here um, and, um, and and this particular company is not uh, in any way um, it's not unique in any way but what they did was they took a holistic view on pricing and and again i want to push for for my book a little bit more i really think if pricing is something that you're interested in uh, go to amazon it's an amazon bestseller uh, buy it or um it it's uh, distributed by simon and schuster so it should be in every uh bookstore in in, in america and um, you can buy it from other channels as well you know barnes and noble and target and anywhere else you know so so anyway that's uh, my message for today um, i hope you enjoyed this um, uh, little video on on uh, the importance of uh, of of, of um, customer segmentation based on their willingness to pay and thank you so much for your time and i'm looking forward to hear um to see you again on on, on the on the next um, episode and please google the price whisper to find me to find um my other videos my uh, the many interviews i've done and, and writing and so forth so thanks again for your time